there Virgo welcome to your end of May 2023 general tarot update it's Rena here how has the month of May been going in the aftermath of that <laughs> Scorpio eclipse mm, ooh la la wow Kind of like romantic energy. Yep, Ace of Cups. All righty then. Heart of the matter is the lover's card. Sometimes these readings, um, it's almost like they're reading for the future, uh, you know, beyond the time frame that I'm reading them for, because I was thinking about this for those people with career issues who are Virgos, you know, because in June, you're going to have a new moon in Gemini, and Gemini is your 10th house of career. So there were some cards like the Ten of Cups, I mean, uh, the King of Pentacles in particular, that reminded me of like career goals. And the, the um, and this is actually connected to Gemini. That's really what I was thinking of, is that the Lover's card is connected to Gemini. So if it was a timing card, it could be this um, new moon in Gemini. But it's the, the Lover's card can be a choice that you have to make or that you feel compelled to make. Um, this obviously is also a card of some kind of love for some people and a card of intimacy, uh, maybe wondering, is this really love? We're feeling love after being in a totally different situation. Like the, this is the past position. King of swords can be either you feeling isolated, uh, not isolated, um, not surrounded by other people, but emotionally kind of um, aloof or just cut off, emotionally cut off. Or this could be the person that you have been with who really has made you feel like not cherished. And if you have fallen in love with someone else, it might be like night and day the feelings that this generates. And so there can be that sense of like, wow, you know, we're really connecting this way. The higher message is the 10 of cups. This is happily ever after. This is a card of marriage. So it really bodes well for that particular scenario for um, work related matters. This could be the pot at the end of the rainbow. So if you have, you know, if the king, kings can be like authority figures, and if you had have had a boss who is very uh, unexpressive or that doesn't seem like they care whether you're there or not, you could be feeling it and you want something else in your life. And that's what the choice involves. You know, what do I do? Do I... If you have another job offer or you're just thinking of leaving that environment, the Ten of Cups can be, you know, you can't experience that happily ever after if you're staying in that situation. Now, obviously, sometimes just walking off a job is not that good of an idea. Maybe in some cases you want to prepare for it, but at the very least, you're taking those initial steps. What crosses you as the Queen of Swords, you may have felt like you had to kind of swallow your emotions and just get through something because with the Queen of Swords, the emotions are still engaged and it's really about head over heart. 
The King of Swords is really like, in some cases, struggling to find emotion, but the Queen of Swords is struggling to sometimes uh, transcend their emotions when they need to, when it's keeping, it's holding them back. What is coming in is the Ace of Cups. This is a card of new love or some kind of new situation that can feel very um, romantic. So again, with the Lover's card, that certainly bodes well for people who are looking for love. And um, this could also be choosing from the heart. And it might even be the type of work that you're doing. Maybe it is connected to artistic endeavors or spiritual endeavors. And the outcome is the King of Pentacles. This can be, in terms of any kind of work, very lucrative, where you feel like you are really raking it in. It, it can be something that, like, if this is a person that comes into your life, they may be like a mature earth sign. So Taurus, fellow Virgo, or Capricorn. And this person may give you a sense of stability if you have been um, experiencing an unpredictable situation with someone. This may feel more uh, comfortable for you. If this is related to a job choice, it could say that this is going to be very uh, lucrative. It's going to pay off, so it bodes well for that. You like to see the King of Pentacles as the outcome card, for sure. So anyway, Virgo, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.